behind a desk a little bit more than usual uh, or not getting out and doing enough exercise. You might be feeling that your upper back or your thoracic is feeling really stiff. So most of you might know that normally in the Pilates studio or in the clinic, we do tend to use the T-rack. So we would normally, um, which is great. So if you have one, please jump onto the T-rack and start stretching out your thoracic spine. Now it is really simple. You do get to lie here for two to three minutes, um, just opening up your spine into extension, getting a nice pec stretch at the same time. However, I know many of you don't have a rack at home. So a few little things you might be able to find at home that you can use. Something is just a simple rolled up towel. Now I know it's not gonna be as effective, but it's better than nothing. So what I'm gonna do, set myself up so that the towel that's rolled up lies directly down my spine, more to my mid to upper back as I lie down. Now, the only thing I don't want to see is that I, when I lie here, that my neck arches backwards. So I have got this other little towel just enough there to support my neck in a nice neutral position. So the towel is a bit softer than the wrap, but it's going to give you a little bit of extension. And as I said, it's better than nothing when you're at home. Then you can go through your floor angels. You can go through your arm arcs, get a bit of movement around your shoulders at the same time. Now, really important, remember, never sit straight up. Always try and do a little commando roll off to the side so that you don't irritate your facet joint. Same thing again. Um, I'll pop that to the side. If you do manage to have a long foam roller. Now, the foam roller is great, but just keep in mind it is straight. So it's not going to give you those curves, that you, the, the thoracic extension or the curve in the spine that you need. But what it is nice, it's going to give you a really strong pec stretch by opening up through the arms. You're opening up through the front of the chest. And then you can go again through your floor angels or your arm arcs. But if you only have a small foam roller, a half one, and you can do the same with the towel here, by the way, as well, is that you place the roller sort of your mid to upper back. Now, the higher you start, the easier this is. And we're going to start by gently leaning over the roller as we mobilize our spine into extension and then come back up. And you can do that a couple of times. And it's really important to listen to your body. If it feels really sore, really painful, then back it off. But if your body feels okay, then you might move the roller a little bit further. Maybe think one to two vertebrae down your back and then you start to extend the spine again. And then come back up. And then you can go just that little bit further if you feel. So I always think bra line or mid back is probably the furthest I'm gonna go. And you can see the lower down I get, I can't actually extend this far because that's when my back does to, to start to get stiff. Add a nice little click then, and then come back up. Now, again, we also have the option of the T-ball, which is like um, two big balls sort of glued together. Not many people have these at home. You can buy them from the clinic reception. However, you can also be a little bit creative, grab two tennis balls, a bit of strap and tape, duct tape, whatever you've got around the house, and tape them together. So from here, I'm now going to place it sort of between my shoulder blades. And then I'm going to lie down once I get it in nice and level, hands behind my head, and then I can lean over that again and then mobilize at each segment. If this is too intense for you, you could always do it leaning, standing against the wall and sort of just do little half squats as you roll up and down. And it's a nice way to massage in between your shoulder blades. And then if you feel like you've got a little bit of a trigger point through one shoulder blade, you can always sort of rotate and lean on that a little bit more and use that as a self massage tool to one, release your thoracic spine and just get release a little bit of tension around your shoulder blades. Okay, have fun playing.